All right, guys, welcome back from the interruption from Zoom. So we are going to um, move, move on to the, the third step again. So we say the first step, you choose one of the unknown to be eliminated. You're going to choose either X or Y. The second step, you would now make the coefficient of that unknown that you chose to be the same in both the equations. Now you can do this by, you may, you may multiply or divide one equation by a number to make the coefficient the same as the other equation. So, so you can do one out of two operation when you, are, when you are making the coefficient the same. You can either multiply by some number or you may divide by some number. So whichever case is necessary, you can decide whether you're going to divide something or multiply something. As long as the two unknowns become the same, then you would have achieved your goal. All right, so step three. Now we have to decide whether or not we're going to add or subtract both equations. Now, if, if, if anybody can remember, the equation one that we had that we had was what? 3x plus, anybody remember? Um, I think it's 5y. 5y. Equals, equals to 15 or 5, sir. 15. 15. Mm -hmm. All right, so 5, 3x plus 5y equal to 15. And that's what we have as equation one. Now we had x plus 2y equal to 10. That was the equation two. And we had created equation three by multiplying equation two times three we got a new equation, which is now 3x plus 6y equals 30. And so now we are labeling this as equation three. Now, as, as the next step asks, says that we're either going to add or subtract one equation from the other. But here we have three equations. So the question now, which, which is two equations that we have to work with? Which are the two equations that you think we are going to be working with? Sir, the first and the third one? The first and the third one, because you see, we want, in order to be able to eliminate, we, we need the equation where the coefficient of the unknown that we chose. We want that coefficient to be the same in both equations. So because these are the two equations that have the same coefficient for x, it means that we are going to work with those two. So now the question is now, what we are going to do now, bearing in mind that what we are trying to do is to eliminate the x. Now, we are working with equation one and equation three. So what do you think we are to do in order to eliminate the X? The last second one. All right, guys, sorry about that. So I was asking the question now, since you want to eliminate the coefficient of X and we're working with the equation one and three, what are we going to do? Add our subtract.
Anybody can, anybody want to answer? Subtract, sir. All right, why, why do you use subtract? Because we want to eliminate um, x, sir, so 3x minus 3x going to go with zero. So that means we have been out of the equation. Question I want to ask you now. Which of the equation you would subtract from subtract? So we take away the first number one from number three. That's, that's what I want you to tell me. No, I'm looking at it that way, sir. Um, the reason why I'm saying that because um, um, equation three have bigger values. And I'm thinking that we take minus everything, sir, from this e the whole equation from the third one. Right, you would, you would, you would actually minus each of the like terms. Yeah. The numbers. But um, so we're going to subtract. Now, the, the reality is you may likely to take away the, the one from the three, equation one from three, because looking at it, you would say equation one has smaller values, has smaller coefficients, uh, well, not necessarily smaller coefficient, but yeah, you would be able to take away equation one from three without any, any real problem with, with your calculation. However, you can you could choose to take away three from one, but you would have to bear in mind that you would now work with negative values, right? So it really doesn't make a difference if you're subtracting one from three or three from one. And when I say it doesn't make a difference in terms of the results, but the difference that it will make is that in one case, you might work with positive values, and in the other case, you may have to work with negative values. So if you know you're not so good at the signs, try to work with the one that you will work with positive values when you subtract. So in this case, we would have, we would now take away equation one from equation three. Now, and, and even though I'm just roughly going through these steps, guys, it is, it is necessary for you to say what you're doing in each step, right? So you have to make statements as you go along. So this now is just for you to get the procedure, but in along with the procedure, you will have to be making statements. So after you have clear, after you become clear as to what the procedure is, then we will see how to make the statements as we go along. All right, so we are subtracting equation one from three, right? So this will be three X plus five X, five Y rather, equal to 15. And so, So this is equation one and we're subtracting it. So we're going to draw a line, like when we're subtracting numbers, we draw a line underneath them. Now in our subtraction, we're taking away terms from terms. So the three X here, we're subtracting this three X from that three X. So that would give us zero because you're taking away three X from three X. Now you're taking away this, 5y from 6y. So you will be left with y. And now over here, you're taking away 15 from 30. And you will left with what? What you'll have left? Guys, what you'll be left with? Sir, y equal to 15. Right, so, so, so now we would have, um, sorry. So now we would have, um, we'd have, why, 
I think I think um, I'd put this equal sign in the wrong spot. All right, let me fix that. So this equal sign should be down here. So now we're taking away 15 from 30. So we would have y equal to 15. All right, so, um, so here now, having eliminated x, we were now able to easily solve for y because we don't have x to think about because we would have eliminated it. So we can just find a value for y. Now, once we find a value for y, we still will have to find a value for x because in the first case, we only eliminated x. We never really solved for x. So now we need now, having found a value for y, we need to solve for x. So how do we do that? Substitute the 15 where y is, sir, and then we multiply. Well, we have a lot of y's up there where we can put 15. So sir, um, would, you wouldn't just use one equation in this case? Well, you would, have, you would use one equation. You don't need to use more than one. Mm -hmm. So you would choose one of the equations to use. Now, a rule of thumb is try to put it in one of the equations where the calculation is easier, easiest to, to work out. So choose the equation where you have smaller values in it to work out. So which of them you would choose? So you can as well choose um, x plus two y. Right, so we could just choose equation two considering we, we would ignore that we, we would have multiplied by three. So we just use all that is inside here, which is equation two. And then now we would, we would substitute this value where y is in equation two. So we could say put x equal to 15. So whichever word you feel like you want to use, substitute is the word that you would have been most familiar with. So we can say substitute. Y equal to 15 in equation two. All right, so this is an example of the statements that you have to be making while you go out, right? So the statement is just simply saying what you're doing and why you're doing it, all right? So you're putting y equal 15 in equation two, and you can say in order to solve for x. All right, now sometimes students, don't bother to make these statements, but I can assure you that the examiner acknowledge them when you make them because it tells the examiner clearly, it, 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 it's one says to the examiner what you're thinking. And so the examiner know exactly what you are thinking in your mind. And so the examiner don't have to make any assumption about what you're doing because you're saying exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it. So that give a greater sense to the examiner that you are reasoning along that line and they can follow you, right? So I would say, make these statements. It will give you more marks in the long run. Is what, these are the little things that give you the edge in terms of getting a distinction. All right, so, um, so if we put two in the y equal two, y equal 15 in equation two, then we would now have x plus, and we have now two y, which now y would be equal to 15. So we can either put 15 in brackets when we are substituting, or we can just simply put a multiplication sign between the two and the 15. The choice is really yours, right? But when you use 
the brackets, it's a little bit, I would say it's a little safer to do it that way. All right, so now you would say equal to 10. And now what you would do next is to calculate two times 15. So now we know that X plus two times 15, which is what? 30, sir. 30. So X plus 30 is equal to 10. So solving for X now, we would do what? Divide both sides. The more divide, sir. Uh, we're going to move um, the, the, the 30 to the other side, sir. And it I would now become a negative 30. I know there is subtract 30 from both sides. Yes, sir. Right, so if you subtract 30 from both sides, this would imply that Maybe. x is equal to 10 minus 30. So therefore, x would be equal to, so therefore, x would be equal to what? Minus 20, all right? So hence, x equal, and this is our, our conclusive statement. So when we say hence, X is equal to minus 20 and Y is equal to 15. And that's how you conclude your answer. All right, some people would, would just stop here, but you would not have concluded your answer. So as I'm saying, these little steps really make a difference in how the examiner look at your reasoning. All right, is that clear? Any question, guys? All right, so I'm going to clear what is on the screen. All right, so it means that we would now add, um, subtract in step three for this particular question. Now, this is a rule that you should follow that will help you to determine whether you add or subtract. So the rule is, if the signs of the unknown to be eliminated are the same, you subtract. So you subtract one of the equation from the other one, right? So we said like signs, you subtract. So that's a short way to remember it. Now, if the signs of the unknown are not the same, that means one is a positive and one is a negative. In that case, you're, you will add. Now, what I want to let you know now is that students often confuse the signs. So if we have three X plus, 2y equal to 6, and we have 3x plus 6y equal to 18. Now, in this case, all right. Let me let me let me change one of the signs. So I want to say three x minus six y equal to eighty. So what do we do here? Add our subtract. Guys. Can you repeat? Baby, come on. What would we do in this case when we are eliminated? Oh. 
You mean this equation generated at the bottom down here, sir? Yeah. So let's say we are eliminated. <laughs> Would we add our subtract? Subtract, subtract sir. The number up here is say yeah. add, add our subtract. Subtract. So subtract, sir. Why you subtract? Because 3, 3x from 3x will give you zero. Is it the, the x you're, 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 you're um, eliminating, sir? Yeah. But uh -huh. you, you look, you're noticing what is happening here with these rules, though. It says that if the signs of the unknown to be eliminated are the same, you subtract one equation from the other. If the signs of are, if the signs oh, of. Oh, not the same. Not the same. You add both equations. So but that's sir, it said it said of the unknown, right? So three x and both three x will be positive. Are they referring to the whole equation? Because I, I know that being x and y, right? I would like you to to somewhat tell me what. Right, you sir. So I'm looking at it and I'm saying that um we're trying to eliminate x. And in this case, X would have been the unknown. Mm -hmm. So, but right here, sir, we're seeing where both, both of the X, the X, um, X value, they are positive. All right. Yes, sir. And, and it uh, says, and it says that if, if the signs of the unknown to be eliminated are the same, we subtract. Right. So is it, it, it um that means we can subtract three x from three x? All right. Is is there anybody else who is in agreement with Miss Wilson? Raise your hand. Let me see. I have to mute your dog a little bit. <laughs> Miss Brown? Yes, sir. Are you in agreement with what Miss Wilson said? Sir, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I agree. Miss, 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 Miss Brown, um, could you just speak a little louder so that I, I can hear it? Because I'm not sure what you what you're saying. I don't, I'm not sure. You're not sure. Miss Green? Oh, you're not sure. Sir, did nobody agree with myself, you know? Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> um we just we just remember said so this would have to apply to um all um the whole entire equation. Um Miss Miss Wilson, could you unmute yourself for me? I, I just unfortunately. Okay, sir. So mm. I was saying, I, re I recall that um, if I should take away, it would have to go for the entire equation and where it says that if the unknown, what? If the unknown are of the same sign, then we would subtract. But then, sir, when you reach to the, the two y, so we have, a, we have a negative six y and a positive two y. So I'm um, probably right. going to this, sir. All right, Miss 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 um, Dorothy, you were saying something. Yes, sir. What I was saying, I think maybe I should subtract. But you use the word maybe. That's all I cannot sure to. No, sir. Why I said because you have a positive, not a positive, I mean a negative in front. Six Y. All right. Now you may wonder why I am deliberating with this so much, because this is an this is something that students often make mistakes with, right? So I am trying to help you to not make mistakes about this, and that's why I'm I'm putting you through this. Now, um, Ms. Wilson, you were correct the first time, right? So you're looking at the unknown that you are eliminating. So the unknown that you are eliminating is this is that is that unknown signs that you should focus on. The sign in the middle is for Ys. 
not the X. Right? And you're not eliminating the Ys. You're eliminating the X. So the sign of the, the, the X are the same. Now, what, what kind of confused students about the X is because they really don't have a sign in front of the X. But remember now, even though you don't send a sign in front of the X's, it means that if there's no sign, they are both positive. And if they are both positive, it means that you're going to subtract because this is saying if the sign of the unknown th that you're eliminating are the same, that's when you subtract. So if the sign of the X are the same as subtract. So in this case, there are two pluses. So you subtract. Now, what about if these were two negatives? What would you do? Add or subtract? The answer. Sorry, it would have been the same subtract. Yeah, it would be the same subtract because the two unknowns have the same sign. So we are saying once the unknown that you're eliminating have the same sign, you're subtracting, right? And you're subtracting all the terms from one equation from the other equation, right? Is that clear to you now, Ms. Tarpey? Yes, sir, I'm getting it. All right, as we move along, we will see more of these because we will look at some examples, right? So, but I want you to bear that in mind. The two, the signs in the middle are not the signs for the, the, the X's. They are the signs for the Y. Now, if, if, if instead we had something like this, So if we say I had something like this, X, and let's say, um, and let's, let's say that this was, all right, so we're making this 2Y. Now, in this case, what do we do? Add or subtract? Subtract, sir, it's what am I saying, son? Um, the positive Ms. value, three X and X. Miss Brown, what do we do? Add or subtract? Uh, subtract, sir, no, no. Screen, what do we do? Add our subtract. Miss, Miss, Miss Dorothy, what do we do here? Add our subtract. Subtract, sir. All right, so you see how confused you are about this. Now, which of these unknown you would eliminate? Would you eliminate the X or the Y? The X, sir. Is the coefficient the same for X in this case? X. Sorry, which one are you talking? The stop, the three X plus two Y? The in front of the X in both equations, are they the same? No, sir. No. Remember, we say that in order to eliminate, the coefficients have to be the same, right? So in this case, we, we cannot be thinking about x because their coefficients are not the same. The y coefficients are the same because both of them are, have two. So in this case, we would have to think about eliminating the y, not the x. Oh. And if we are eliminating the y's, now we look at the signs of the Y's. Are the signs of the Y the same? Yes, sir. You sure about that? 
so you have two way and two way. Blue, the sign, the sign. Oh, the sign. Oh, the sign. Sorry, no, sir. It's a sign that we are referring to. The coefficient is a number, but so the, the, when we say the coefficient are the same, we mean the number are the same in front of them. But when we say the signs are the same, we mean either we have the same plus in front of them or the same minus in front of them. In this case, would the signs be the same for the Y's? No, sir. No, one is a plus and one is a minus. And this is the case where we are eliminating Y. And if the sign of the unknown that we are eliminating are not the same, then in this case, we have to do what? And what? We add both equations. So in this case, we would add because we are eliminating Y and their signs are different. Is that clear to you guys? Do you get a sense of what, what you're supposed to do? Raise your hand if you're following. <laughs> I know it might not be very clear to you now, but while we're doing some more examples, examples it will become clearer but i want you to get this idea all right what about you miss brown is it getting any clearer to you yes sir miss green is it getting any clearer to you yes sir all right so with that said then after we decide whether or not we're going to add our subtract then we we do that operation and then the final step well, not the final step, but so the next step would to be to solve the unknown. So we would solve the unknown that remains after, right? Now, the other steps would to make the substitution and then solve for, for the, the, the one that you don't know, all right? Now we're going to just go through an example well, we are going to go through several examples, as many examples as we can before um, I give you an opportunity to try them because you have to get the steps clear in your mind what you're doing first. So this is the first example here. Now, it says that we are to solve the following equations. And so we are solving them simultaneously. Now, my question to you is, which of the unknown is easiest to make the same? Now we have the unknown X and we have the unknown Y. Which of them is easiest to make them have the same coefficient? Sir, why? All right. Why? I mean, X. All right. So, Sir, would it be X? Are you saying Y or are you saying X? X. Okay. All right. So, why did you say X? How can you make the coefficient the same for X? Sir, would you subtract the three x from x or the x from three x? All right. So you you are not yet at that point of subtracting. You have to first ensure that you, first you have to choose which one you're going to get rid of. Whether or not you're going to get rid of the x, are you going to get rid of the y? So that's the first step. Which are these unknown you want to get rid of? So you, you mentioned the X, Miss Brown. So if you want to get rid of the X, so you would have chosen to get rid of the X. So that's the first step. The second step would be ensure that the X has the same number in front of them. Now for the, for the, the X for the, in the first equation, there's a three in front of it. The X in the second equation, what number is in front of it? 
Miss Brown? Sir, can you repeat? I'm saying that you have chosen to get rid of X by choosing X. The next step is to ensure that the number in front of the X's are the same. The, the X in equation one has three in front of it. What do we have in, in front of the X in the second equation? One. One, right. Are, are those two numbers the same? One and three? No, sir. No. So if they are not the same, then the second step that we really want to do is to make them the same. Now, how can we make these two have the same three X? Now, the, the easiest way to do is whatever the X value is up here. If you have a one down here, you can use that three up here times the one down here. So use the same X value that you have above. So the same coefficient that you have above, use it to multiply the one down here. So three times one would give you three, right? But as I said before, whatever number you're going to use to multiply the x down here, you have to use it to multiply the entire equation. So it means that we're going to multiply equation two by three, right? Following? Yes, right? sir. Right, so that's, that's the first step. So, so step one, we are eliminating x. Why we are choosing x? Because that one is easier to make turn into three for both of them. So one already have three. To make the other one into a three, we just simply multiply it by three. So we multiply that entire equation two by three. So we multiply x by three, seven y by three, and 15 by three. So when we do that, this is what we get. All right, so we'll get three x plus 21 equal 45. Now, this equation that we get now, we now label this as equation three, right? Now, notice the statement that I've, make, I've made here as we're going along. So, so the first statement that I make is I'm saying that I am eliminating x. So I'm telling my, that my examiner that this is the one that I choose to eliminate. I'm eliminating X. The second thing that I said that I'm multiplying equation two by three. Now, why are we multiplying equation two by three? So that we can get the coefficient of X here to be the same as the one in equation one. So we multiply that by three, and this is what we get. Now we have equation three. Next, we are going to work with which two equation are we going to work with now, Miss Brown? Which two equation have the same coefficient of x? Equation one. Right. So equation one and equation one. Three. Equation one and three. So these are the two equations that we are going to work with when we are eliminating. All right, so our next step now is to subtract equation one from equation three because those are the two with the same X, right? Now, once we are, once we are, why, why are we subtracting? We're subtracting